Yo, what's going on? Just figured I would uh, come and talk about a quick psychology lesson when you're dealing with home buyers and home sellers and why your words matter and how your words ultimately will determine if your marketing is getting across, if people are actually catching your message, if you're running Facebook ads and that kind of thing, if you're actually generating leads and what your leads cost, this is what's gonna determine those numbers. My name is Nick Carpenter from the Legion of Loan Officers and this, this idea for this video is really coming from a post inside the Legion where a lady shared an ad with us that she said was not performing and when you go and look at the ad you can clearly see based on the words that are on the ad why it's not performing okay and I'm not going to get into a ton of things but just a really quick psychology lesson that I wanted to share is that you know, your words matter ultimately, right? And when you're dealing with home buyers and home sellers, the words that you choose are very important, right? So here's what I mean. When we're dealing with home sellers, a lot of times we want to disconnect them from the property, right? So that's why you'll call it things like a property, a listing, right? You'll use these kind of words because you want to disconnect them from it. Now at this point, you want them to transition from this emotional attachment to this structure on this piece of land and so now you just call it a property a listing right these kind of words when you're talking with a buyer and you're dealing with a home buyers and you want to influence them on that side that's when you want to use words like home house right these kind of things where it's words that you want to create a connection with the buyer right so if you run a Facebook ad and you're talking about a listing that's not necessarily going to catch, like a buyers obviously understand what a listing is, but buyers aren't look, looking for listings, right? Buyers are looking for a house. They're looking for a home. They're looking for somewhere to live with their family. So you have to use words that are going to connect with a buyer, right? If you use the word listing instead of the word home or house, it's your leads are going to cost more if you're generating home buyer leads on Facebook. They're going to cost more because buyers don't have the emotional connection to a listing that they have to a house and to a home, right? So that's why sometimes if you're trying to grab attention, you might not say, this is the best listing for sale. You say, this is the best home for sale, right? This is the best house for sale. So, or, you know, if you're saying just listed, right, that's different than saying this is a listing, right? Saying just listed, this is a house that just got listed for sale. That's different than saying and calling it a listing. So sometimes those words really are important, right? And if you need help and you need somewhere where you can rely on and have people that are going to help you make sure that your words are going to convert leads and help you generate business on Facebook and Instagram, wherever you're running ads, check out legionofloanofficers.com. And if you found value in this video, feel free to share it with your audience, share it with your uh, friends. And um, ultimately, the words matter. And if you're running ads on Facebook and you're doing things with words to generate leads online, your words are ultimately going to determine whether you succeed or fail. So be really careful and be really thoughtful in your words and make sure that you're using words that are connecting to the exact audience you're trying to go for.